Let's do a quick little walkthrough of the inside. All right, Rad Rufus is 34 feet long, 10 inches. Let's see, pretty nice, pretty spacious. Both slides are out, so I have the one full wall slide here. So this is on the driver's side. And then my second slide is in the back there for the master bedroom, which we'll get to in a second. So starting up front, excuse my jacket. Two nice captain chairs there. Okay, center console. We do have some some switches here. Okay, uh, so you could see really kind of driving switches. The one that you're a little for the inside, what you're probably mostly worried about is these two switches right here. And those are for the speakers. You can actually, like I said, hook up your Bluetooth to the outside speakers. Just click that button down, and it'll go outside. All right, if the if the motor's off, I can actually click this radio button, like so, and it'll turn on the radio. And if I want music, which you're going to hear in a second, so right now it says cockpit and living room. So they're both on. There it is. Okay, continue. So now it's just in the living room. Now it's completely off. Now it's outside. I'll turn that radio off. This is for your shade. So if you need your shade to go up, go down. While you're driving, the shade will not go all the way down, but it will give you some shade, uh, just like it would in a car or, or a truck. You can actually lower it to get some of the sun if it is glaring in your face. LED lights on the front of the front of the cab, they're all, they'll be on outside. Fog lights, and then your standard Standard control switches, air conditioner, and heat as well. Driver console. You have your leveling jacks over here. Also your light switch right there. Plenty of cup holders, cup holders, cup holders. This does remove and come out if you want more space there. Okay, these two captain chairs obviously are turned around so you can face the inward of the rig. I have the dinette set up right now. Very spacious, two more cup holders. This is removable. I have, I have some Ziploc bags and some other cooking utensils down here. And then I have pots and pans and a toaster down here. Broom and a dustpan right here. Going over to the kitchen. This does come up and use for extra counter space. Just gotta watch out because it will cover the door a little bit. The fire extinguisher. I do have a screen for the door. Space underneath, okay. So all this will come with it. Okay, you're not gonna need the wipe your antifreeze up. I'll take that out. But I got some uh, cleaning supplies for you, some trash bags, um, and then also some rags as well. Okay, your sink, removable for ease and then up here coffee got your coffee bar uh, the only thing that's not there right now is the curate but that'll be in there as well okay and I got to have some coffee but you're probably gonna want to get yourself um, some more coffee uh, but this is all free game until it runs out so please feel free to use it okay more storage here so this is in my opinion a design flaw So this is extra cutting board space, which is nice. Extra counter space, really, and let's not use it as a cutting board. Extra counting counter space. And then it actually pops. I can't do this one hand, but it pops up. And we got some bowls and some plates and some cups. And we're very thankful you chose Rad Rufus. And very grateful for your patronage. All right. And then we have some plastic cups and some other as well why i say this is a design flaw because when you're driving you can see how it doesn't you don't hear really click so this does tend to pop out to about that far so to keep it from doing that i just use this little bungee cord and i i will strap it down to the bottom like that bring it on up and that usually keeps it nice and tight okay second drawer uh oh pulled a little too hard on that one sorry about that 
some scissors, some cooking supplies more, and then uh, plastic where if need be. There's a wine key. Okay, can opener, so everything you will need. Then down here we got some more matches, lighter, and some more Ziploc bags. Okay, I'm gonna put this bad boy back on. Yep, here we go. All right, uh, oven. Okay, three burner stove, so one, two, and three. Right now I have the uh, toaster oven sitting on there. That comes with the rig, so you'll be able to use that as well. On the side, I just have internal temperature uh, and humidity. Actually, I'm sorry, that's just that's all just humidity right now. Just a humidity sensor, really, when it comes into play during the, during the, during the winter. You can see me in the microwave here. This nice big microwave. Nice and cleaned out for you. All right, up here, we'll call this the electronics bay. I gotta kinda, kinda set up here for electronics. Roku, right there, DVD player. Okay, and then I have this little switchboard right there. You wanna bring your Xbox or you know, some other gaming device for the kiddos. They can use this big 50 inch screen TV while you're running down the road. Okay, fireplace, electric fireplace, does put out a lot of heat, a lot of heat, which is really nice. Okay, I have our two recliners, fairly comfortable. I left out the, um, the seat belts on these recliners, so I got one seat belt here, one seat belt here, and then two seat belts, they're just stowed away right now, for the dinette right here. So I got one, two, three, four, and then obviously driver and co-pilot. So that's six seats, six seat belts. Okay. Nice spacious, moving all the way back. More storage. So up here I do have for the kiddos and for the family a couple games. So this is one of those 100 games in one type deal is chess and then I also have my chess board right here for you guys to use. Some playing cards uh, right here, phase 10, and then coloring, coloring materials, okay? More cutlery for use and more space. Even throw in a couple popcorns for you. Okay, coming on back to the fridge. We'll start with the fridge. Nice big fridge. Okay, all cleaned out. This will be running, I'll, I'll make sure it's running the night before for you so it's nice and cold. Just put your, put your food right on in there. Okay, now to my left, here is the main control panel for the RV. Okay, let's go through it real quick. All right, right now it's telling me the generator's on. It's the flight light for uh, getting the uh, the heater kicked off. We'll talk about that in another, another another video all right here is my quantity tanks quantity gauge okay so I got empty a third two-thirds and full the way I can test those are right here so my gray tank is empty my black tank is empty fresh water tank is empty okay and that's how I test those right here all right gray tank is your uh, shower, your sinks, things like that. Black tank is the uh, commode back here, which we'll show you in a second. And then your fresh water is fresh water fill that you fill up uh, for, for use if you're, if you're not uh, hooked up to city water. Battery, if I wanna test my batteries, this is just the cab batteries. Okay, they're running just fine. And then my LPG, my propane, that is full as well right now, okay? for my water heater I'll turn this on my flight light will kick off it's not gonna fire up because I have the propane off right now my water pump kick that bad boy you can see this light is red okay that means my water pump is is on generators on right now um, have that in a different different uh, video um, Yep, and then my Arctic package for the for holding tanks is, is off right now. If I wanted to turn them on, I would just flip it down, but you don't need to you don't need to worry about this piece right here, okay? 
uh, my hours for my generator. Uh, keep tapping that. And then room slide out. Just think. Room slide out for this one is your forward. Room slide out this one is your back. Bottom, back, bottom, back, bottom, back, front, forward. Forward, front, bottom, back. Okay? They're pretty self self explanatory. Biggest thing with the room slide outs, do one at a time. You either need your generator running or you need the, the actual uh, coach engine to be running uh, for the extra power. Okay? And then just make sure what we do is if they're in, I'll go ahead and hit out, maybe move it about halfway, and then go check around the slide just to make sure it's, it's good. There's no, nothing obstructing it because as you can see, sometimes this stuff gets stuck behind there and you don't want that crunching. Okay, I'm gonna do that for both. Cool, this is the uh, front AC heater unit. So I have two, you can hear it kick on. I have two uh, AC units. One here, and then one back here. The difference is this one is the only one that does heat, okay? So this AC heater right there unit is the only one that does heat. The one in the back is just AC only, all right? Um, all you do is you just turn it on. The furnace is actually on. It's not gonna kick on the propane. Um, auto heat and then it'll heat it up you can you know self-explanatory there uh, does get pretty warm actually in here when using the heat uh, so you know uh, if it's a really cold night you know maybe use the heat um, but I'll tell you what in the morning if it was a chilly night I pop that bad boy on and it heats up fairly nice awesome okay I got a slide for the for the uh, that's me again. Hey, the slide uh, for the the bathroom. Uh, coming on to the bathroom. Not a porcelain toilet, but we will be upgrading that here, probably in the summer months. It's, it's plastic right now. Okay, toilet paper. I've got plenty of it. All right, I will provide you with the marine grade toilet paper. More storage, towels, hand towels. All right, here is the shower. Okay. When riding down the road, I would actually take this off and just lay it down. That way it won't be banging around back here. Okay, coming on down. Here's all your, for after you dump your tanks, just fill it up with about a gallon. There's a gallon tub back there, fill it up with water. Toss a scoop of that in there. Throw it right on down the toilet and she'll be great. All right, get the counter space back here. We do have washer dryer combo. Look at that, not quite, not quite level right now. <laughs> But uh, wash dryer combo, this thing is awesome. Uh, we do have a blow dryer and a straightener right there, and then some cleaning supplies up there. All right. All right, coming on around. There's our pantry. Nothing in there right now. Nothing right now. Throw your groceries in there. You're set. Okay. We'll give you guys some water. There's some more storage under here, but really, I don't think you're going to need that. Maybe. Outlets. Come back to the back, to the master bedroom. That is a king size bed. And oh, by the way, it's actually, look at this on purpose. Let's see here. It's actually a Serta. And man, is that comfortable. So it is not just your standard. RV king size bed. It is an extra comfy king size bed. All right, pillows, pillows to stay. Okay, got storage up there. There's nothing in there right now. All right, nice big window. It's dark outside right now for the back. Here's where I like to stow the ladder if I'm not using it at night. And then we'll just actually throw the ladder right onto the bed here. 
uh, when we're riding down the road if need be. Okay, let's come in a minute here. I got the little space heater that'll stay with the, uh, the rig. All right, little cubby hole up here. I have some lights, man. These things are great for nighttime. I just, when it's a nighttime, all the lights off, stick that bad boy in the bathroom. All the light you need. Nice little headlamp if you need that. Some lanterns for the kiddos. Small little space fan if needed. Here's your, oh, I forgot to tell you where it is up there. Here's your TV controls and the Roku. All right, very on 35 inch back here as well. This pops up, there's more storage back here. Do have two walkie talkies right here. Okay, feel free to use those. And then the RV paperwork. There is, if I stick my hand right here so it doesn't move while I'm driving, another fire extinguisher. Okay, so if need be, then that's a USB, or not a USB, but HDMI. All right, tons of storage back here. You can hang on hangers. I will keep this little um, laundry hamper in here for you if you need it to just to pop up. Another fan as well. And then I got our maps, some good Sam that'll tell you about where all the camping grounds are if you need any extra information. And then tons of, tons of uh, storage down here. Okay. All right, that's a quick little walk through. And I hope that helps. Also, your other your remotes. Your other remotes are right here. Okay. And your your remote for the outside, excuse me, the remote for the outside uh, TV and Roku is in here as well. So you got two right there. And then outside TVs. Okay. All right. There's your walkthrough, Rad Rufus. Can't wait.